Oh my goodness, hello there. At first I didn't think Facebook, Facebook was like giving me a hard time for a second. Well, hello guys, hi there. I'm so excited to be back on camera. I know I've done some videos and I wasn't on camera, but uh, I don't always like to put on makeup. I don't, but I did today. And sorry, I was gonna go live last night, but I didn't. Um, um, but see this shirt, see this shirt? I haven't worn this shirt in like five years, okay? This was the shirt that I wore. Let me let you see some butterflies in the background. <laughs> that I wore uh, when Peter told me I was gonna see LaToya and Brenda Ritchie and Jeffrey at the Polo Lounge and within 10 minutes, I had, he knew I was going there. I talked about going out that night and bragged about it for weeks. And uh, he said that I was gonna see him. And I was like, I'm not gonna see LaToya at the Polo Lounge. I hung up on the phone, I valet parked my car. Um, and uh, I walked in and bam, LaToya, Brenda, and um, and uh, Jeffrey were right there. So this is the shirt I wore. This is the shirt I wore that night. And so today I was kind of like, oh gosh, you know. Um, if you want to see the picture, um, go to my michaeljacksoninsider.com website. And you'll see me with many, many Jacksons and associates and stuff. And uh, I haven't put the picture um of me at Joe Jackson's memorial up there yet. Well, I'll have Cecil do it. He's He'll be off in a couple of days and he can help me with that. Well, guys, um, I have a few things to talk with you guys about. Um, let's do a recap of August, okay? August, we got a lot of clues. We got uh, Paris with uh, Catherine with the butterfly necklace, and we all know about butterflies. See, my office is full of butterflies, and if you have ordered one of the Alive trilogies of Michael Jackson documentaries, you will know that I put a butterfly or one of those cute little winks um, in every package because clues are like, yeah, right. They're wink, wink, nod, nods. So I wanted to um, uh, um, uh, put that in there. And let's see what else. And uh, we have an estate from, uh, clue from the estate when I said that John John looked like Bobby Anderson. And I said that um, uh, Michael wears all kinds of disguises. Then the estate released the behind the mask video. Uh, for the first time, even though the video was released before and it was done by Opt Optimum Productions, which is a Michael Jackson estate owned media company, um, um, the estate hadn't released it. So that was another, that was at the beginning of the month. And then we had the, oh, and then I did a, a big write up about Michael Jackson at michaeljackson.com, how I received an email from there. And um, receiving an email from there, uh, is anybody there? Ah, oh, you know, I know I've been closing down my account so many times and it says I'm live, but usually I have comments, but nobody's there. Maybe because people think my account is closed. Anyway, I'm going to now, oh, well, let me, let me finish this one. So behind the mask, uh, I mean, we're already finished behind the mask. So now let's do the, um, uh, the one for the permission base. So I had said that Michael Jackson at michaeljackson.com was permission based and blah blah and 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 uh, so you gotta you gotta go to either my Twitter account which is Pearl Jr. or go to my um, or go to my let's see inst not Instagram just go to my Twitter you know or here you know because I hope I can keep this account back on I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm hoping I can bring keep this account back on because I've been having haters and you can read all about the handprint I sent Michael a handprint five years ago and uh, and I, I have been seeing Michael's handprint like that a lot of times that Peter would post and uh, I was like hmm did he get the email did he get the email did he get the email so finally we had another thing that connected to another thing that I wrote about and it's on my page so uh, it's uh, so go to my YouTube um, but mine uh, go to my Twitter account and you can see it yourself okay um, Simpsons you guys know that I had wrote about Mr. Burns on The Simpsons, and I had been talking about The Simpsons, right? 
and how it was a uh, death hoax clue, right? And um, then all of a sudden we get the article where the guy that the creator of The Simpsons or the producer of The Simpsons, he admitted that that episode that featured Michael Jackson was really Michael Jackson. So that's like another wink, wink, nod, nod, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, now for some other housekeeping, uh, I'd like to thank all of my supporters. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. And um, um, thank you so much. And we've gotten some hate pages taken down. Uh, we've gotten some uh, Twitter stuff taken down. We've gotten some horrible, horrible, vulgar, horrible videos taken down from uh, YouTube and from Facebook Live. And, um, and so far, it's been quiet for a few days, okay? I did not make it down to Michael Jackson's birthday. I've never gone down to Michael Jackson's birthday. And there was no real excitement or anything that would bring, you know, uh, I just didn't go, okay? I don't want to get into the drama of it all. Um, I didn't go, and, it, and, uh, and I could have went. Of course I could have went. You know, I'm, you know, I do all kind of Michael stuff, you know? And I cover Michael, and I do, you know, Michael things. Oh, Price of Fame. Price of Fame is almost done. Okay, it should be done by the end of this week. I just sent all the donors' names to the director to put in the credits. Okay, guys? And um, so if anybody wants to donate, you have, like, today... <laughs> Today, August, I mean, it's the 3rd of September. Oh, my God. The 3rd of September. It's been nine years since the fake burial ceremony. And I'm going to call it a fake burial ceremony. You know why? Because it was. Because the Jacksons paid for every Forest Lawn employee to take the day off. And the crypt has been empty all this time, even though the estate paid $590,000 for it, it's been empty all this time. So it is the 3rd of September, the day I'll always remember. Yes, I will. That was the day that Michael had the fake funeral. <laughs> and um, we can say it was a fake funeral because the end of last year, like last fall of 2017, a report came out that Catherine admitted the hip crypt is empty and Michael was cremated. That's just another cover up for the cover up that Michael Jackson is not dead, okay? I have something else to show you guys, but I'm gonna end this live and then I'm gonna come right back on to show you guys something. Okay, I'll talk to you later, bye.